Hey guys, welcome. My name is Daniela, and if you're new here, I do videos on wellness and I talk about and guide and give you tips on the best way to stock up your kitchen and your bathroom. Just stock up your house with the best products on the market that are clean, minimal, and affordable. So this video, I'm going to be talking about skincare and my skincare routine. And I know that I usually do videos on wellness, more specifically towards food and supplements, but I try to follow that same philosophy that I follow in the kitchen and every area of my life, which is having products that are clean, affordable, and that allow me to still stay a minimalist in my life. And so I do that when it comes to food, skincare, beauty, and so that's what I wanna share here today. I have acne prone skin and really, it's not cystic acne. I've never had that like full face of acne, which I feel so bad for people that have that. I've never had that type of acne. I've only had like hormonal acne and I'll just like get it around here or here. And for the most part, it's just, yeah, like that area. And I just have like dryness here, whiteheads. And um, I also deal with a little bit of redness but I wouldn't say I am dry or oily. I am a combination, normal to combination skin. I have a lot of scarring because of my hormonal acne. And sometimes I'll still have breakouts, but nothing like it used to be whatsoever. And so a lot of the products I'm gonna be talking about here, I have stayed true to them for like the last couple, five, four years. Okay, so when I take off my makeup, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I'm so lazy and I don't buy makeup remover. I use coconut oil. And as long as you take it off your face right away and wash your face right away, it will not clog your pores. Obviously you have to do the work to minimize um, your pores as much as possible. But for the most part, I don't find that it clogs my skin. It, I have sensitive skin and it does not, um, it does not mess up my skin whatsoever. So that's up to you if you wanna, you know your skin the best. Um, but when of course I don't have the coconut oil and I actually go to the store and get makeup remover, I get the uh, micellar water. I'm sure a bunch of people know about this. It's the best one that's worked for me. It does not leave my skin super dry, like it's freaking ripping after I take off my makeup. It keeps it moisturized, and that's what I look for in almost all the products. After I use that with a cotton pad, I probably go over three times to make sure everything's set, uh, taken off my skin as much as possible. I'll go in with cleanser. So this cleanser is from CeraVe, and I actually love this one. So an app that I use is EWG, and it tells you what it's rated as. And this, these two are rated as two, so that's good. Um, a lot of these products are rated as two to three. And threes is probably usually because it has like an allergy. So, but I, I don't have any allergy reactions to any of these, so it just depends on you. But I like that app because it tells you all the ingredients that that product has, and it tells you what it's rated as, like how clean it is, and that helps a lot. But I like to know the products, I mean the ingredients too, just from my own knowledge. So I've been using The Ordinary for a very long time because it goes back to my belief system, which is like clean, affordable, and minimal. I like brands that are freaking clear with their ingredient list and they don't have any bunch of extra stuff because they don't care about the marketing. A lot of product, a lot of brands literally just add different things into a product so that the marketing is more appealing. Probably the concentrated product that is actually good for you is this much, you know, less than 2% in every product. And then there's just a bunch of other things that sound, sound appealing. Um, things that you could probably make in your own kitchen or will be in that product. And then it'll be like 30 freaking bucks, you know? So I love The Ordinary because they are clear cut, straight to the point. The ingredients are pure and it's affordable. Every little thing is like five, six dollars and you don't need much of the product. So it lasts you forever. And I just love it. So niacinamide for, for inflammation, reducing inflammation and redness in the morning. Um, and then at night, I will skip the niacinamide and I'll just put glycolic acid. Glycolic acid acts as a exfoliator, but it does not create redness. It might just burn like for like a second, but no burning when it comes to other products that I've tried, a bunch of alcohol in it and it just dries up your skin. This does not do that at all. And it absorbs very quickly. And that also helps me see where else I have makeup on that I, like residue that I didn't get when I was uh, cleansing. After the glycolic acid, I use rosehip seed oil. And my gosh, I love 
rosehip seed oil. It is so good for moisturizing, making the skin look plump and juicy and glowy. I freaking love those hip seed oil and you don't need a lot of it either which i love and i always bring down everything to my neck as well when i do these things it helps with scarring and getting rid of free radicals on your skin i mean it is a great oil for your face and i always recommend rose hip oil after rose hip i use as it is laic acid i'm gonna say that because it sounds nice um is there like acid <laughs> I messed it up again. I butchered this word. Um, basically, it's a brightening cream. And this helps me with my uneven tone. I'll just put a little bit under the eyes because I do have some dark circles. Um, and then I'll just put it where I have the most scarring, which is like this is not scarring. I mean, you can, I have a little bit of makeup on right now, which is actually the ordinary. I have a little bit of scarring, but not too much. A lot of it is just sunspots from when I was a kid. I've always had it. I've always had freckles on only one side of my face. And then over here, you'll see more of like the holes and stuff from picking at my pimples when I was younger, right? It's not too bad. It is. It could be way worse, um, but I want to do the process slowly. I don't want to go into heavy treatments. And so things like this will help me in the long run with brightening. After that brightening cream, which I use very little of, um, and I don't put it during the day because it has like vitamin C properties in the sun and anything brightening and sun exposure do not go well together. Then I go into the natural moisturizing factors, NHA. So this is basically hyaluronic acid, all the properties that you need to make sure that your skin is moisturized. I love this moisturizer and it lasts forever because again, you don't need that much. And that's the case with all the ordinary products to be honest i absolutely love that because again minimalistic i don't gotta be at the store re-upping on these products that often and it's amazing then for scrubs and exfoliation like actual exfoliation i use a cure scrubs and these are also clean and they're number twos on the app i use the brightening facial scrub Whenever I feel like I'm getting sun and I need to brighten it up or just kind of like I do this once a week only and then this I'll probably do twice a week, which is not too exfoliating. It's very gentle. For the most part, I try to be as clean as I can with the products, but it's not as easy like in the food market when it comes to the beauty industry, the skincare, all that. It's very hard to find products that are completely clean, but you do need certain chemicals for your skin. And so I just feel like The Ordinary does a great job at that. With makeup, it's so tough, but I just do wanna share um, another product from The Ordinary, which is the Coverage Foundation. They also have a serum foundation. It's what I'm wearing right now, and it is so moisturizing. Before the makeup though, I do put e.l.f. This is an acne fighting putty primer. It's like about a hit pan. I mean, already hit pan. It's so good in the sense that it's a great primer to protect your skin. It has not broken me out whatsoever. And then I also kind of use, these things help me to prevent my breakouts is what I is why I'm showing you. Um, I use also their putty blush and their bronzer. I have found that not using as many powder products has helped me a lot with um, the clearing of my acne because a lot of those products really do clog your pores a lot of powders and all that and so my skin is too sensitive for that and i just try to have always like that dewy look and not only because i like the look but because also it's just healthier for my skin something else that i recommend is making sure that you clean your brushes this is the only brushes that i own and i make sure that i clean them when i clean them though i don't use any ma uh, makeup brush remover product i just use um either avocado or olive oil just a little bit um, and then I use one of these soaps, the lemon, because it's a disinfectant. I actually also put just a little bit of lemon in there. Sometimes I even put apple cider vinegar. And with the soap, it cleanses the brushes. With the oil, it maintains the bristles still, you know, like soft and um, not, doesn't mess them up. And then the, um, the lemon and the apple cider vinegar is just disinfectant properties. And that's always worked for me in my brushes. I stopped using beauty blenders. I felt like I broke out with beauty blenders a lot. So I stopped doing that. Um, a lot of it is internal, but I'm not gonna talk about internal things that you can do for your acne um, in this video because I'm specifically talking about products. But for the most part, um, keeping it simple, doing the research on what your 
type of skin needs and looking at products from a consumer point of view of like, okay, is this brand bullshitting me? You know, is why is it so hard to read this ingredient list? Like those are the things that you got to look for. Comment down below if you liked any of these products that I have shared, if you guys tried them before, or if you have any recommendations now that you know what I look for in a product. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. Bye.